Hey everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and right now we're going to do Game Gear. I have had this Game Gear for a long time. It currently doesn't work. Um, every time I go around to try to get it fixed, I keep forgetting. So, Captain Retro, my bad. With all this stuff going on in the world, I kind of keep forgetting. And I got so many consoles at work, it's going to bound to happen. But we're going to tackle Game Gear and all the games that I currently have and what is accessories if I do have any, so stay tuned. Okay, first we're going to start off with somewhat of a classic, Home Alone. Next is a very hilarious TV show, Beavis and Butthead, The Addams Family, da -da -da -da. next is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Next is Ariel, the Little Mermaid. Then we're going to show these together because they are the same title but just sequel. Shinobi 1 and 2. Then we have Batman Returns. We have a game that I don't know why I keep it, just maybe for laughs. Shaq Fu. Again, we have another combo pack. It is Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. Then we have Cutthroat Island. Then we have Evander Holyfield's Boxing. Next is a sports titled Fred Couples Golf. Then it is a classic character, Tasmania. So this one is a little hard to say. Speedy Gonzales and the Cheese Catastrophe. We got a sports title. Winter Olympics. We have a 5-in-1 pack. Then it is Sonic Triple Trouble. RBI Baseball 94. Then we have George Foreman's KO Boxing. Then we have NBA Jam Tournament Edition. VR Troopers. Follow that up by Last Action Hero. Samurai Showdown. Next we have The Lion King. Classic movie. Sif Ninjas. Next we have an arcade classics title, Tailspin, Ren and Stimpy, The Quest for the Shaven Yak, X-Men, Mortal Kombat, then we're going to do a combo edition, we have Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Now I'm not going to crack these open, but these are, some of them CIB, the rest are just box and game with the insert. Uh, Primal Rage is first, followed up by Mortal Kombat 2. Then we have Virtual Fighter, still has the sticker on it from Zellers, but I didn't want to take it off because didn't want to damage it. And we have the original. NBA Jam, and my only CIB Sailor Moon game from Japan. When I heard there was a Sailor Moon game, I had to grab it, and this was the only one I could play. This was the only way I could play Master System was with a Master System converter for the Game Gear, and that is my only accessory. I do have an official carrying case for the Sega Game Gear and this is complete with the foam and everything and an original Game Gear. I have two because I bought one when I was around middle school and then that one stopped working and I bought another one uh, about college around that area and that one stopped working also a couple years ago, so I gotta get a couple more, you know, so I'm gonna hit up Captain Retro and, and hopefully, because I've been having no luck with mail, but 
Hopefully I can send him his way and he can take a look at them and maybe mod them. We'll figure that out. But yeah, guys, that is my Game Gear collection as of 2020. Pretty much don't sell any of these games because a lot of people won't buy them anymore for good price. So it's worth it just to keep them. So hope you are having a great rest of your day. Remember, keep on gaming. Hit the sub button and I'll catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda the Gamer Girl